so here I have two rabbit pelts. I have the fur going the same way, and I have them both fur side together. And I am going to try sewing them together, kind of like a rough stitch. Because this is for the leg warmers that are going to be going underneath my greaves to hide the rest of my boot. So I'm basically just doing a whip stitch about every half an inch I'm doing a stitch. Trying to at least. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I, you know, the closer I am to the edge, the more likely I feel like it is that it's going to rip out the stitching might. Um, but again, this is like a very drapey part of the costume, so I feel like I shouldn't have to worry too much about um, any stress being put on this part of the fur. I basically just need it basty, like if you're using a sewing machine, like a basting stitch to keep it from flopping open and showing off like my regular shoe underneath. Here we go. I'm not entirely certain at this point how I'm going to have this leg warmer mounted on my leg. I don't know if I'm going to attach elastic or if I'm going to do snaps or just, just what, I, I don't know. Okay. So that's come down to the end, and so I'm going to do a couple more stitches back up, ouch, the way I came, just to use up the rest of my thread because I'm going to re-thread my needle for the other leg warmer. Just get a nice little knot going here. And so as I stitch back up the uh, leg warmer, I'm just knotting each stitch. Okay, there we go. And then kind of securing my tail. with another knot. Snipping off my thread. And so now that's the seam that we have going on, but I'm going to go through with this wire brush and gently tease the fur out of the seam. This way, I don't have to worry so much about it being as apparent. You know, I want it blended out a little bit. So I'm blurring the lines, and that's teasing and picking it up out of the stitching. So there we go. And this is going to have a really nice flare down at the bottom as well. Didn't that look neat, though? So, let's see. I'm going to be experimenting a bit here with my own leg. Just to see how far it comes around at the top. Yeah, I feel like I could get away with having a piece of elastic maybe riveted riveted here and here that way it'll go on and wrap around the back side of my leg 
and then I can just cover the front up with my uh, with my greave, and it'll hide, you know, that split. Y'all can see that. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm actually thinking I don't entirely know how I'm going to go about doing this. Again, it's another instance of really faking it till I'm making it. Uh, I do have some snaps. I could have it just secure with a snap. But what if I gain or lose weight in my legs or I'm layering this over different shoes? So yeah, I think elastic is definitely going to be the way to go. Ooh, that's warm though. <laughs> Let me go grab a piece of elastic and I'll be right back. Also, it's just occurred to me, a spot of Velcro. But I'm going to have to sew that on anyways. What do y'all think? I mean, I know I'm not going to find out until after I post the video, but, um, oh, now if I were to do Velcro, how would I do that? Hey, Randy, I have a question. On this leg warmer, it's going to be wrapping around my leg like this, with the seam coming down in the front. Should I have it secure with Velcro or elastic? I mean, either way, this where it secures is going to be covered by the greave in the front. Either way, it's, whatever I use, it's going to get riveted. It just makes the difference whether I pull it on like a sock or wrap it and Velcro it around my leg. You know? I want to say Velcro, but... Well, it's a... I'm a cosplay friend. Um, she does Velcro on her leg gear. Mm -hmm. Does that work out well? It, it does. It looks really sharp. Okay. okay. I have consulted with the Randy, and we have decided to do Velcro. <laughs> so now I'm totally going to have it. Um, I guess I'm going to cut myself off. On this side, I'm going to have like a uh, three inch piece of Velcro. I'm going to open it up. And this side, and I'm going to keep trying it on just to make sure that stuff's laying where I want it to be laying. So I'm lining up the uh, holes with some rivets just right away, going ahead and getting this assembled. There's no reason why this needs to take all night. Because I am ready, I'm so ready to be done with these greaves. <laughs> like, so much. Uh, four days of time, well, that is pretty good. Like, I, I can't lie, that's pretty good, having it done in that amount of time. Um, is, like, three days longer than what I wanted to spend on them. But it was, I'm still working on building up a realistic expectation of how long, um, doing that hand brushed fur is going to take me and it turns out that realistically that hand brushed fur takes like 3.2 million years it's ridiculous <laughs> and I'm going to do the other rivet cap so there we are we now have the wrap aroundable very resizable um, within three inches, at least, maybe six, depending, five or six inches of adjustability, whether you need it, you know, great big, or whether you need it real small. That looks pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other one, um, and then 
then hopefully I can show you the completed legs with the hooves and everything. Well, I just did a test wear. I didn't get any pictures because it's really dark. Um, but take it, it was beautiful. It was perfect. Um, but taking off the rabbit skin with that had the uh, Velcro riveted to it, it just tore the rabbit skin right, like. I gashed it right open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch that right back down and uh, hopefully figure out what I'm doing from there. So it, it's okay. This is just a little bit of backtracking. And I have not done the other side yet. So we'll see how this goes. I may actually need to just remove those rivets and, in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do instead of stitching it, remove the rivets and then back it with a more sturdy piece of leather so that the rabbit skin is sandwiched, you know, the delicate rabbit skin is sandwiched between the durable Velcro and the thick backing leather. So I have some scrap ends from doing the straps on the greaves. And so I'm going to dig rummage those out of my scrap bin and um, I'll show you guys that.